Hey, thanks for joining us today on Archer Universe. Uh, today, we're going to put out uh, some Alabama All Game attractant and supplements. I uh, put some out about a month and a half to two months ago, right in that range. And uh, so I'm going to go check the spots, see what they look like, and freshen those up. I know I've gotten some pictures of some deer on them, some turkeys, and uh, even a couple of a bear. So i uh, got three spots we're going to check out and freshen up. Uh, so come along with us, check those out. And uh, at the end, I'm going to tell you what I think about it and whether I think it's worth spending your money on. So this is the first spot. And this is what we call uh, the double boat seat. And you can see my camera there. And uh, here's where I've had the minerals at. They have ate the minerals. Uh, honestly, the attractant, uh, it was gone within the first few days we put it out. So... I deliberately put this off the beaten path of my food plot. I didn't want them digging a hole in the middle of my plot. Uh, I've got a lock on stand about 20 yards from this spot, 25 maybe. And I've watched deer walk through here over the last few years. Uh, so I know that they stage in this area. I know that this is an area that they circle the plot and uh, and check it to see to see what's on the plot. So. Uh, I'm hoping that this will turn into a hot spot for me where I can kind of set up and know when the deer are going to come to this area. So that's my thought process that I'm trying to set up a spot where I can kind of stage deer and know they're coming to and give me a good bow spot and have that ready come bow season. So we're going to dump this out right in front of the camera here and hopefully we'll get some more pictures of that. So as you can see, that's got corn and pellets and some other kind of tracking minerals in it. I'm not sure what all's in it. I'm sure it's proprietary and he wouldn't share if I asked him. So this is on a patch we call the South Patch, which is uh, really my daddy's patch. And uh, I post a link up here to a video that uh, we had a few years ago where my dad shot a doe here, same afternoon I shot an eight point. And uh, he's had pretty good luck here over the years uh, just due to his... Uh, limitation with walking and stuff now this is pretty much the only place he hunts and uh, he'll hunt with a crossbow or a rifle out of the blue uh, sleeper cab actually behind us and so we fixed that up so he gets in there and i can pull up right beside it and he didn't have to walk but a few yards and uh, he can take his walker and get in the stand that way i keep him hunting as long as possible but if you check this out this one actually looks better than the last spot you can tell they're beating this pretty good so uh we're gonna we're gonna stick to putting some on this spot so i'm gonna dump some sand we're gonna dump the more of the attracting out and keep this spot going uh it's a little further than we're probably gonna shoot with a bow from his uh ground blind over there from his sleeper cab but uh be pretty close pretty close for a rifle shot so this is what we're putting out this is the hunter's all game complete with has the uh, the minerals the supplement and the attracting in it and this is the hunter's all game white tail minerals so we're going to put both of them out in the same spot. Hope we keep the deer coming back here. I don't have a camera on this spot, so I really have no idea what's coming in here. But we know there are a lot of deer in the area. We know they frequent this trail right here. This is actually, when he shot the doe a couple years ago with a crossbow, this actually was the spot she went out. So just kind of see you, this is the minerals. So I uh, showed you a little while ago after I dumped out the attractant. So the minerals actually, you can kind of see they have kind of that uh, mineral salt block look. So I dump that out. Put both of those on the same spot. Like I say, it's been about six weeks probably since I put those last ones out. Maybe a little more. So uh, that's one of the things I'm hoping is this will create a spot that, that stays useful without me putting something out here every two weeks. So that's uh, we're going to move on to the next one now. The next one we're coming to is the bear patch. And uh, I know we've had a lot of traffic on it. I do have a camera there. And uh, we've seen the bear actually twice in the last week. So maybe we'll bump into him today. All right, we made it to the bear patch here. And uh, there you go. That's what the bear's good for. Uh, 
I was afraid I was going to get here and find it on the ground, and sure enough, we did run two deer off. I'm not sure if they were here at the corner or over at the mineral site we got over there, so we're going to check that out real quick. Sure enough, they're eating it good. Been getting a lot of pictures. There's my camera right there. And uh, this is the one I actually have to use a cellular booster antenna to get the camera to work. So let's get, uh, we're going to put a pack of mineral out here and a pack of uh, supplement and then move on to the next spot. So we're going to put the same thing out in this spot here. We're going to put the uh, whitetail minerals and the hunters all getting complete, which is the mineral supplement and tracking together. So uh, that's what I put here last time. We're going to go with the same thing. Probably gonna be a few weeks before I get back up here, but I'll keep you posted on what I see on the camera. And it's that simple. I'm not so sure that that's the proper way to do it, but it's the way I done it last time. And deer are eating it. So, we've gotten quite a few pictures off this spot here. I knew when I put it there that this was a high traffic area, so it didn't surprise me to see deer. But I was interested to see in how much they would eat the all game stuff we had out. So, uh, honestly, within 24 hours of putting it out here, I had pictures of deer eating it. So, it's not like it took them a long time to find it or anything. Uh, and they've continually fed on that spot, been close to two months with just a couple of bags of supplements. So, all right, so this is our last spot for today. This is a spot that I've never hunted before. I scouted it last year. It had a lot of deer sign on it, a lot of buck sign. Uh, didn't really want to get out here and mess around too much at that time. So just kind of put it in the back of my mind. I come back and bow hunt it this year. So when I came out a month and a half or so ago and put out this attractant, I came in here to this spot and put some out there. I'm kind of anxious to see whether they've been eating it and how well they ate it. We're gonna freshen it up with some fresh stuff. I'm gonna put a camera out. So hopefully I've got a cell signal in here and hopefully soon I'll have some pictures to show you. So this spot I've done a little different. I chose to dump it on a log. And so I actually dumped a little on the ground here and I've done some on this log right here. And so as you can see, they have been working it over. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to dump some out right there. I'm going to hang a camera right across the trail from it. Hopefully we can see some deer for long. All right, so I put my camera out. There's uh, no signal here. So I'm going to leave it out anyway. At least I have pictures on the card. When I first started using these Tacticam reveals, I found that I could use a Sayer booster antennas and a cable, get them up off the ground, point them toward the nearest cell tower, and uh, they significantly helped. Uh, so I do have antennas, I do have cables for that. I'm just gonna bring one back in here. Uh, I'll post a link up to that video, you can see how good they worked for me. But uh, real quick, what do I think about uh, Alabama All Game? It's worked for me. I was actually surprised that within 24 hours I was getting deer feeding on it at the first camera I had. Uh, and the reason that surprised me is I had put out trophy rocks last year and for the first two or three months, deer just were spooked by them. They finally started feeding on them and now they eat them, they're gone. You know, they, there's just a hole there where they were. But it took so long for them to get where they would even touch it. And for me to be able to dump this Alabama all game on the ground and within 24 hours have deer eating it, I was thoroughly impressed. So uh, not real expensive. You can look him up online on Facebook. In fact, I'll post a link to his Facebook account uh, in this video and you can check them out shoot him a message the guy's name's todd uh, alabama all game neat stuff not real expensive and he can ship it right to your door thanks for hanging out with us today god bless shoot straight and i'll see you next time